Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset, and this is City Skylands. Welcome back to Animalia on a dark and stormy and thundery night. Is it times like this that a man's thoughts turn to tentacular-based horrors? And so that's what we're going to be doing. We are going to be building our jellyfish district. So, for starters, let's just get this road running straight all the way along down to here so that we can have our starting point. Is that your poop? Yes, that this is this is the poop. Indeed, my ocelot, this is the poop. This is the poop that washes down. It is kind of poopy. So, um, from which unpleasant tentacular monsters arrive. Are you so, not going to do the water sewage? I will do a sewage treat plant. But now comes the dawn. It's still some of the thunder, so we can at least see what we're doing. So I am now going to pause the game. Because with the while the rain is a little bit annoying, um, it being dark is worse. And I don't want people to be doing too much building in the dark. So let's road take to the camera. And roughly work out where we think our midpoint is. I would say it was about here or so. So let's pop that road out a little bit. Switch to. Let's grab you because you're cheap. I would just want a guidance road. It goes out to about here. And then let's grab the middle of this one, which I'm going to say is about there. Come out to two and a half that way. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to count the square. So this is the, the best kind of road from doing this kind of thing. So you can actually just delete this quite cheaply. So we will then go back to our nice two lane tree avenue. Grab the circle tool. Right there. Okay, looks like we'll be doing this slightly the other way around, because the thing is in the way and I'm not paying attention enough. Let me use the middle section. Yes, yes it does. Go do the same again over here. Grab that. Leave the middle section. That road. That road. Curved road. From there. Hit that point. And come round. And then go from there. Hit that point. And come round. So we've got a really nice kind of area like that in the middle. And we'll get. Rid of our construction lines. So. Now let's start talking about teeth, and let's start talking about So let's do the teeth first. So let's just go for about, yeah, let's go for that joint. Oops, we're on there, so let's come out with a straight line to there, and then come back. How quickly can we come back? No, let's just do, yeah, let's do that. Just come in every solid tick. On here, we'll have a little road coming inwards, and then we'll do the same on the other edge. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, go. I'm making a hideous tentic tentacular and be tooth monstrosity, and I'm enjoying doing it. It's going to be an awful place. People who are going to live here are going to find themselves essentially damned by the uh, hideousness that is this unpleasant, unpleasant place. So, this is going to be on the other side of here. So, yeah, Alright, so that gives us a load of roads in there. We might uh, just leave that as a grassy bit in the, for now, but I think what I will do is grab the little parkway thing here. And connect. Connect with these all up. Like so. It's kind of freaky looking lips so that people can wander back and forth, and then we just go stretch across there. Stretch across there. Stretch across there. So yes, now we had the 
Ikor. And that looks more like an eye, actually, more than anything else. Well, call it some kind of lizard eye park, perhaps, rather than uh, our denticular thing. It might, but uh, no, it's just going to be an enormous floating eye with ten tentacles all the way around it. So let's go back to. We've barely spent any of our budget, so I'm looking quite good on this. And we're going to take that one. Um, and well, we've already got the junction in, and putting extra junctions off the side is not going to really help. So let's just grab this and make our tentacles. We want interesting and crazy shapes here, ladies and gentlemen. We want it looking like things you've never seen before. Things you have seen before, but wished you hadn't. So that's what it's about. That's what crazy tentacle land is all about. It's about making a place that you are going to live, because you kind of need to have somewhere to live. But it's about creating a place that no one would ever choose to live in. Kind of like, well, most major cities really, they're all not the most nice places in the world, so let's just grab that one, let's make it, so we've got a bit of tight space here and here let's make this one particularly convention, you're not going to have to go back one on that one went too far, we tentacled too far tentacled too far there was nothing more to be said or done for them Okay, so that's the southern tentacles. Now let us proceed to do the northern tentacles. Come up. There or so. Yep, nice. Um, and that will break off that way. And come down into a sequence of obscure and unpleasant curvatures. You looked upon the, and the town planners looked upon the estate, and they knew that their time had cometh, because the thing which that with the dead feared, the dreaded monstrosity of the eye, the eye of our animalia, that's it, otherwise known as the demon spawn of central zoning, has come to them and has visited their peaceful land. <laughs> well, let's uh, rock out on this one a bit like we were doing previously. Just make lots of interesting and unpleasant and devious and eldritch curves. So there we go. There is our tentacular district. Our awful and unpleasant and unknowing abomination against town planning. So I have no idea how well this actually going to turn out in terms of the roadways and everything. Um, so now we've got that in. Let's tick across our things to start talking about power. Now we've got a power grid over here ready to wait so I'm just going to run a power line to about there so we've got a bit of power coming in and I am going to run a power line right through the middle of it for now why? because I want it to grow at a reasonable rate we're going to need some water um, so let's grab that one bring it all the way down to here across 440 up minimal amount we need to do down this infernal monstrosity no is it infernal is it perfectly monstrosity yeah, I can nudge that over just a bit. hopefully no one will try and settle in that tiny little gap there because you know it would be bad for them because they won't get any water it'll be their own fault they will have deserved it um, I think it might be worthwhile, given we're doing how much of an extension we're doing, it's going to be worthwhile putting in another one of these. Um, I don't know if that, that, no, that was flat out, the not the best spot for that, because this is a major road interchange. And I am probably going to be wanting to be doing important things with that area over there. So I am going to stick that there, right down on the end, um, so it'll service the infernal eye. The Eye of Doom fishy spot. So let's, let's just see what the automatic name is that it comes up with for this area. Is Orchard Hills. Well, it's not a hill, but I mean, this isn't actually a height. So this is actually Dalmatian Parks. And this will be. Hmm. Let's call it Jellyfish 
horror. Jellyfish horrors. Where do you live? The horrors. The horrors. Yes, I live in the horrors. Sounds like an awful place to live. It is. I'm terrified. Every night I have hideous waking nightmares. So, uh, I don't think we have, when we get commercial demand, we'll extend bee shopping down. I'm not going to actually put any commercial in, there in this at all. It's all going to be low, low density residential. So ticking along. The next thing we want is medical. So let's see if we can put a hospital in the center there. Then we'll want some fire coverage. Yep. If I tuck it up in the corner, let's put it on that bit there so the fire crew can get in and out nice and quick. We're also going to want a little bit of police. Put them on the other corner. So right in the corners of your eye, that's where the police are looking and keeping an eye on you. We are going to want a couple of these. So I'm going to put one on the end of the... Oh. Now let's put them in up against the center tentacle. So let's keep all the services on the center tentacle, but let's just put them on the outside. So one on that one, and keep the things opposite, put that one over there. Then we'll grab ourselves another high school and stick it in on space already occupied. Can we get it in? Yes, we can stick it in so it's actually that, so it's not bumped up against too much. Bus time. We want the bus route for serving this. Now I am going to keep it reasonably simple on this. We do want a new route. Um, um, I don't really want to be spending too much time having buses going all up and down the tentacles, so I am just going to make the route pretty simple. I'm just going to have it... That's an absurd number of stops. That's, um... So let's have a stop there. Stop outside the school and the hospital. Stop there. Let's just, uh, do the equipment ones on the other side. Then have you come up to that part of the bus station. And then come down to close the route. So where do you go to turn around? You come through... No. No, you just... Where do you go to turn around? Oh, you hang a left and go through this area. Should really check, just briefly. I thought as much. There is a lot of traffic there. And I've got an awful lot of buses that use that road. Can I? I can. Upgraded. I want to get my buses through there without causing too much of a traffic jam. So let's uh, quickly grab my little bit of zoning tool and paint that right back in. So you see we actually got increasing demand for residential now. Hmm. Got a haze of all potential. Are these all abandoned? Yeah. So the donkey mines is not going too well because it's all abandoned. Right, okay. But our actual industry is okay-ish. So apparently this is enough industry to service all of these people who live in Dalmatian parks. Which I haven't actually extended. That's uh Grab that area and bring this all the way up over here. So there we go. Yeah, Dimension Parks. And the oh, Orchard Hills. Oh no, the name didn't take. I didn't press enter. Jelly. Fish. Horrors. There we go. Welcome to Jellyfish Horrors. You will be happy that you live here. We told you you'd be happy that you lived here. But actually, it doesn't matter if you're happy you live here. You live here now. You're stuck amongst the horrors. So, we've got our education in. We have a bus route that runs around the core. Um, hopefully, once we actually get a chance to... It looks like we can't actually change the route properties from here. We have to wait till we actually get a bus. Let's talk parks. Ooh, we've got some of the leisure buildings along here. It's jet ski around the light. These are all harbour-based. What could be more terrifying than a skate park? Let's put a skate park in. A riding stable? Oh, we have to have a riding. That's enormous. Can we fit that in? Oh, I don't think we can, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've got enough space for a riding stable. I don't know, maybe. We have to reweave the road. 
out of city limits. And so it's got a huge area of effect. I mean, obviously it will fit there, but that's kind of boring. I don't really want. I don't think it's it's narrow enough that it will fit in one of these gaps. Hmm. Oh, that's so close. <laughs> Alright, let's not worry about the riding stable. Beach volleyball. Doesn't need to be on a beach, apparently. It can be anywhere. Um, but let's have a look at some of these. Let's put a Japanese peace garden in. Yeah, what have we got? You're a reasonably sized space. This one. This one. You, that and all this great big thing. Well, we decided this is going to be a public space of a variation of the sort, but we're going to be having a lot of housing that on the inside of this. So I think that apparently that actually fits. So let's quickly go down to our path thing again and fix. That so that's all nicely plugged in. So a nice little park space there. More parks. More parks. More parks. More parks. More parks. More parks. Um, let's put what's this? Eight dollars a week. Twenty-four dollars a week. Thirty-two dollars a week. Forty dollars a week. Six hundred dollars a week. Picnic plaza with tables. Let's put a picnic plaza with tables in the center. Oh, I want to fit. I'll sometimes how it decides which way it wants to go. So it, this one mostly abuts away from the road. So stick you in there, grab that. Grab a curve. I can I shan't. Then you can walk across there, pick your parts of the tables. Let's put I'm actually quite large. That's the smallest one. Let's put you there, one there, one here, one here, one on the end there, because, you know, those people deserve some kind of park space themselves. It's a cemetery. We should have a cemetery! Ah, uh, we don't need a cemetery, but for something that is, you know, meant to be based around the awfulness and the horror of horrors, we really should put a cemetery in here somewhere. We have to have a cemetery. Space already occupied. Okay, so... In the entranceway? Let me have it on the entranceway. Can it, can it be the first thing you see as you enter the district? Yeah, I'm going to make it the first thing you see as you enter the district. So let's grab our single lane roads. Let's demolish those two bits of road. Go back to our cemetery. So there we go. There's a the cemetery. And then we'll just finish plugging in the Eye of Evil's missing tentacle. There we go. So we've got a slightly staggered junction there. It doesn't really work. Uh. Switch to freeform. Yeah, so I can come in there. Which means I should be able to grab that on the straight line again. No, thank you. Come out exactly back to where we were. So there we go. That's that done. And we have a cemetery. So we have the awful unknowingness of awful is there. Let's grab the marquee tool. Grab that corner point there and paint. Our lovely district in. So there we go. There's the jellyfish. Jellyfish horrors in all its hideous, hideous beauty. That eye. That all-seeing eye. Um, we've got a couple bits of extra power lines dotted around here that aren't necessarily entirely connected up to that, so I'm hoping we'll get some that'll sort itself out. And 
There's no immediate commercial demand, so I think I am happy to let this run a bit. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Apparently right-clicking cancels. I should make a note of that. <laughs> Grand. Okay, thank you very much for watching me commit a crime against urban planning with the jellyfish horrors. Jellyfish horrors. <sighs> no, that should be jellyfish horrors. Not jellyfish horrors. There we go. Jellyfish horrors. All right. Thank you very much for watching again. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines. Hope to see you in the next episode. Please remember to like and subscribe.